Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe with a video on getting Dolby Atmos sound on your Asus ROG Ally through its own integrated speakers or through a headset that's Dolby Atmos compatible that you have paired via Bluetooth or another means. So let's first talk about getting the Dolby Atmos app installed on the ROG Ally. What you will need to do first is to select Start and locate the Microsoft Store. Once you open the Microsoft Store, you then will type in Dolby Atmos here into the search bar and locate the Dolby Atmos app. And as you can see, I already have it installed, but you will want to install that, run through the prompts. And once you have that installed, you will then select Open. And this is the Dolby Atmos app here on home once you have Dolby Atmos enabled or even before. If you would like to understand the difference, you can actually select a video and you can hear Dolby Atmos content again if you have that enabled. First, what I would like to draw your attention to is the products area. Now in products, this is where you can set up the Atmos to use for your built-in speakers, your headphones, and even a home theater if, if we have that connected, that is. But specifically here, let's focus on Dolby Atmos for built-in speakers. Now, I actually have mine disabled for the purposes of this video so I can run through with you and set this up. So what you will need to do is select Set Up. And upon doing that, you're going to be brought into the Windows 11 sound settings. You will want to go into speakers if you are using the integrated speakers on your ROG Ally. You will need to scroll down to an area where it says spatial audio, and it may be selected by default to off. You will want to select that or left click that. And you have two options, the Windows Sonic for headphones, which is also, also considered spatial sound, and you also will have Dolby Atmos. Now, in this case, it says Dolby Atmos for headphones because I'm using headphones right now, but you will select Dolby Atmos and then have that applied there. So next, what you can do is you can set up Dolby Atmos for headphones. This is going to be a similar process. You will select Set Up and you will receive a prompt here for headphone setup. You will select Continue. And we are using, in this case, my Corsair headphones. Next, I want to transition to talking about the different modes that you can use, or profiles rather, within settings of Dolby Atmos. As you can see here, I have games selected, and I have performance mode enabled. Performance mode prioritizes positional accuracy for competitive gaming. So if you are going to play Modern Warfare or Battlefield, and have Dolby Atmos enabled, you might want to use the performance mode for playing those games. If you disable performance mode, you have options between detailed, balance, warm, and off. These are equalizer or EQ settings, and you can test these out and see which one you prefer. You also have that for movie and music as well. Dynamic and voice, you do not have those options. And you also have some custom profiles that you can set. You can also access more settings here if you would like to choose the brand that you are using. And in this case, I only have generic. And you also can select the type of dynamic that you want your headphones to use, large, medium, or small there. And you can also disable all speaker and headphone effects, switch that from yes to no. And that's it for this video. I hope this video serves as helpful to you in selecting Dolby Atmos and setting Dolby Atmos to work the way that you want it to sound. And with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.